everybody, it's Tim Jordan with Private Label Legion, and welcome to another Oracles of Ecom video, where we bring you some of the absolute best minds in the space to teach you something really cool. In this video, we've got Vanessa Hong, who's actually going to be talking about flat files. Now, today she's going to be specifically talking about how to fix catalog issues of flat files, but it's a really good general flat file overview if you're not familiar with them anyways. So we're going to turn over to Vanessa. Hope you guys enjoy this. Vanessa, it's all you. Thanks, Private Label Legion. My name is Vanessa Hong, and in today's session, I'll be showing you the step-by-step -step process to fix catalog issues using flat files when Amazon requests you to delete the ASIN from your managed inventory. So this video is for sellers that want to make changes in the catalog, and they have received communications from seller support saying that they need to delete the ASIN for 24 hours or for sellers that have deleted the inventory and they haven't seen any changes or the case was unsuccessful, or for all the catalog ninjas out there that want to learn more about flat files. So let's jump into it. So before we jump into the step-by-step -step process, I need to give you a little bit of background of what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be using today the inventory loader file. This is a file that is extremely powerful. This is one of my favorite tools to use for catalog management because it allows us to remove attributes from the back end of Amazon catalog using the X delete option. And also I'll be talking about the difference between deleting inventory from your seller central and using the X delete feature that the inventory gives us. So if you have these kind of situations where you are trying to change attributes in your catalog, you will go to your seller central and gonna use the delete feature that we have here. So we go to a drop down menu and click delete products and listings, right? That's what we normally do. That's when we follow the instructions that seller support gives us. The problem here is that this is not strong enough to remove the attributes that we want to change from the back end of Amazon's catalog. So this is the hack. We're going to use the inventory loader file in order to do that. So how can we download the inventory loader file or how can we get it? We're going to the search bar and we're going to type inventory loader. The first option that it gives us is the inventory loader. In point number one, it says download the inventory template. We're going to download that. Perfect. And then we're going to open the inventory loader. So this is it. I have it here. And as you can see, this file, this template is very different from what we're used to see when we see category templates or the category listing report, because this file has attributes that are related to the inventory and the backend of that information, the information that is attached between the SKU and the AC. So as you can see here, we have SKU, product ID, minimum price, um, things like fulfillment center, uh, all the batteries and regulations for hazmat and notes. Very, very different from what we see in regular templates. And this is why it's very strong. Also, the information that we input in this file has to be in code. They don't allow you to put, for example, in the product ID, they don't allow you to put ASIN. They have a special cost for that. If you want to learn and know what are the codes that are related to each column, we're going to go to data definitions and we can see here in the product ID, obviously we input the ASIN, the UPC, the EIN. In the product ID type, they have a table. So number one is ASIN. And that's what we're going to be using today to X delete products in the inventory. We always need to use ASIN because we want to remove the information from that async in the backend. And I'll explain that uh, in detail. Then the other one that we need to be very careful in order to do X delete is the uh, add delete column, right? And here we have three options, A, D, and X. So as, as you can see here, what the template is telling me that is that X completely remove the information from the system. And this is the hack that we need to use. 
we need to remove all the information that is in Amazon's backend in order to update some attributes that we want to change with our cases. This is different from when we go to Seller Central and we just delete the ACE in there because what we are doing there is just removing that SKU from our managed inventory. But when we do X delete, we remove it completely from the catalog. So in the future, in the time frame that you need to use, and I recommend 48 hours, more than 24 that, that seller support recommends, sometimes I even need to use 72. But after the 48 hours passes, you will see that the ASIN is not discoverable anymore on Amazon. And that's exactly what we want. We want to lose all the information in order to update fresh information again. So as you can see here in my template, I already input the SKU. Yes, uh, my product ID, I'm using the ASIN. And in product ID type, I need to put number one because that's the option for ASINs. Then in the column I is where I put X. This is only this is the only attributes that we need to input in this case when we want to use the X delete feature. Nothing else matters. Don't worry about the item condition. Don't worry about pricing. It's just the X delete column and the ASIN and the SKU. Okay. If you have more than one SKU for that ASIN, put it here. So everything that you have in the in your managed inventory, put it here everything that you want to change, even the parent ASINs, that also works. Uh, one important thing about the inventory loader file is that it needs to be updated, it, uploaded in Seller Central as a text. So uh, no CSV, no Excel files, it needs to be text. So we're going to save that and we're going to use, so this is how it comes, extract open XML express sheet, we need text. So save us, and then I'm gonna use text at the limit, and I'm gonna save it. Perfect. So we already have it. Now I'm gonna go to my seller central and add products via upload, upload inventory file, and here I'm gonna put my file. Perfect. So after this, I will upload the file and I will delete that ASIN from my managed inventory. You need to wait between 15 and 20 minutes to reflect in your managed inventory. And guys, I recommend you because the system of the backend catalog takes a little bit of time to be updated. I recommend you to wait 48 hours to upload the the information again and trying to change the attributes that you want to change. My approach always is the more time I have, the better. I know that these are active ASINs and we need to be selling, but if you can take even 72 hours, that'll be the ideal time. That's where I see that 90% of the cases are completely successful when I exit for 72 hours. The other thing is, if you X delete the inventory and you don't see any changes and you're trying to change things and you're not seeing, that means that the main contributor for that issue is not you and is an internal team on Amazon or a different seller or a vendor team or a retail team. So that needs to be troubleshooted through another department. But with this hack, all the changes that you want to make when seller support tells you to delete the ASIN, they will go through. I promise this is the most powerful template of all because they reset the backend very, very hard. So that's it. My name is Vanessa Hum and thank you so much for watching. I'll be honest with you, some of that went over my head. That's okay. The reason we bring in really smart people to do these videos is to teach us something that we didn't know how to do well because all of our brains work differently. Hope you guys like this video. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up. Store this somewhere for your team or your staff or your fellow e-com sellers if they need help with this. Vanessa, we appreciate you being on the video. Thanks for putting the hard work to show us all this. And we'll see all of you on the next Oracles of Ecom video.